The Series 2A actually gives us a chance to build some more original classic vehicles that still have the character and charm of the 60s truck but with the reliability of a modern Chevrolet engine and transmission. So as this was our first Series 2A here at ECD, there were a fair few hurdles and challenges that we found with this vehicle. The drivetrain was actually our biggest hurdle. One of the main things we wanted to do was to use the same drivetrain as we do in all of our other 110s, 90s, 130s and RRCs, uh, which was actually the LS3 with a six-speed automatic and the LT230 transfer case. In the load area, we added um, four jump seats just to give some, some more seating for occasional use. We restored the middle bench seats because these are pretty hard to get hold of now. We actually installed the latest seats in the front from a Defender. We wanted to add some real comfort and practicality. We really wanted it to feel as original as possible. We actually updated the gauges inside there to work with the new drivetrain. We did keep all of the original flip switches for the heaters, blowers, other functions inside the car. With the recessed grille, with the headlights sunk into it, I think it's one of the most iconic looking Land Rover products that's ever been produced. And I think if you, if you saw it anywhere over the world, you, you'd know exactly what it was.